Well, folks, if the gold medalists of NIMBYism on Martha's Vineyard have taught us anything in the last couple of weeks, is that for them, illegal immigration makes for a great conversation at a cocktail party, but dealing with it is another matter entirely. For the American left, open borders is a political game where people are objects to be moved on, around, and off of the board. That elitism is leaving a body count in its wake that is growing and certainly not discussed over lobster rolls at your favorite beach club. People are dying every day in this country due to the administration's immigration policies, American and illegal alike. And if the president is at all still self-aware, he must know that. Nearly two years into this administration, the president has shown a near total disregard for the human cost of his policies. It's a callousness that is arguably evil. The Biden White House wants you to believe on one hand that the border is secure and on the other that their immigration policy is humane. Well, basic facts demonstrate both of those assertions are a lie. Since the beginning of the Biden administration, Customs and Border Patrol has recovered the bodies of more than a thousand, a thousand illegal immigrants who were enticed to come to this country because of the Biden border and welfare policies. Causes of death for these poor folks range from dehydration and drowning to exposure and asphyxiation. That number naturally doesn't include those who died en route to the United States, which, according to immigration experts, could easily be thousands more. Brave Americans in the Border Patrol have made more than 30,000 life-saving rescues, putting themselves in harm's way to help these folks who were in dire risk of death or serious injury. Instead of giving them more help, the president and Democrats are doubling the size of the IRS to go after you. Mr. Biden must know that 30 percent of illegal women and young girls are sexually assaulted because of his welcome mat immigration policy and the gobs of free stuff offered to those who come here. Girls as young as 14 are given abortion pills because it is expected that they will be raped on the way to the border. Mr. Biden must know that the number of crimes associated with illegal aliens during this presidency is skyrocketing, though exact numbers are impossible to obtain due to deliberately vague and deceptive reporting from the government. The FBI's uniform crime reporting system inexplicably still doesn't track crime committed by illegal aliens. We do know that the, that the Department of Homeland Security has already nabbed 78 illegals on the U.S. terrorism watch list this year, and more than 10,000 convicted criminals have been apprehended in 2022. That's well more than double the 2019 figure. Mr. Biden certainly knows that more than 108,000 Americans, 108,000 Americans, died in 2021 from fentanyl shipped across the open border. The mother of the girl robbed by the undocumented gang member. The father of the fentanyl overdose victim. The family of the illegal immigrant who died, was raped, or is now a hostage of the cartels. They are all now joined together in Joe Biden's fraternity of suffering. According to the president, the existential threats to America include climate change, white supremacy, and to some degree, Trump supporters. That fabrication is meant to cover for real threats like China mounting debt, and an open border that is claiming lives every day. Documentarian Ken Burns may have exposed himself for being a shameless shill for the far left with his comments comparing the busing of migrants to the Holocaust. But in a strange way, he kind of has a point. Just like the Nazis who didn't care if people lived or died, this administration apparently couldn't care less about the human cost of their border policy. Just like how the Nazis moved Jews to camps, where they were slaves of the state until they were exterminated, the Biden administration has now created a new underclass of illegal American, two million of them, indebted to the cartels or locked in a welfare system that keeps them tethered to the state, many of them for a lifetime. Like all leftist ideologies, this administration and the elites of the new Democratic Party have apparently embraced the historical truth that maintaining power and control for a few always means a heavy cost for the many. For the left, when you make an omelet, you, you break a few eggs. You just roll out James Taylor to sing a few songs and think everyone will forget. You know, we learned during the pandemic that the government will sacrifice people if they become inconvenient or uncooperative for one reason or another. The Biden body count proves that these people, these illegal immigrants are collateral damage for their agenda. And it makes you kind of wonder who will be next.
No crooked, crooked establishment. None of that twisting the truth. No talking down don't to me. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to think. I trust Newsmax. Newsmax. They don't tell, tell me, me how, how to think. think. They let, let me decide. Newsmax. Real news. For real people.